ordinary horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty Hyo Silver, the Lone Ranger. The day the last three survivors of the notorious Cavendish gang were released from prison, they stole horses, guns, and clothes, and headed south. Day and night they rode, driven by the ruthless determination of their leader, Tom Cassley. I'm all in. Let's pull up a while. No. How much farther? Oh, another day. Yeah, these nights can't last forever. Well, come on, fellas, let's go. Wait. <coughs> What's the matter, Slim? Where do you hurt? Oh, my heart, I guess. I, I'm not used to this after 15 years in the pen. <coughs> go on, fellas. Go on without me. No. No, we'll knock off a couple of hours. Boiling sun. Well, here there's a little shade anyway. Thanks. I don't mean to hold you fellas back, Nana. Forget it, Slim. We're not as young as we were the last time we were down this way. For 15 years I've been wondering what I'd do with my share. Here I am only a day or two away from it, and I still haven't made up my mind. Uh, I'm going to sleep in the softest bed in the best hotel I can find. What about you, Tom? All I know is I want that gold so bad I could taste it. I think I'll go back and take me a snooze. Yeah, me too. The sound makes you pretty, pretty weak, don't it? Gone. My gun. Canteen, too. They're gone. Without them, we'll fold up for sure. A dirty double crossing. Oh, never mind that. Come on, let's get after them. Let's go. 
I'm a burn him. I'll leave him to the buzzards. The next day, the Lone Ranger and Tonto, following the trail of the three men, came upon the clearing where they had stopped to rest. Let him stop here, Kimisami. Their first rest in almost two days. Now I'm sure they're out to recover the gold they stole years ago. That would also explain why they broke the law when they first got out of jail. These men are the only survivors of the old Cavendish gang, the gang that ambushed my brother and four other Texas Rangers. I want to get them, Tonto. Them leave in hurry. Go south. They must be headed for Silver City. Come on. Must be Slim Gallagher. Him fall off horse over there. He might have been shot while he was running away from the other two. You think them fight among themselves over gold? Well, each one has had a long time to brood over the idea of recovering the gold for himself. Uh, me take him into Silver City? Yes, the sheriff there is a friend of mine. I'll write a note explaining how and where we found Slim. And then me tell him about Tom Casley and Duke? Yes, they may stop there before going on. I'll follow their tracks to make sure. I'll camp just east of town and meet you there later. Ah, me do. Early the next morning in Silver City, Tonto concluded his explanation to the sheriff, and after searching the town for a sign of the ex-convicts, went into the general store to buy supplies. Inside, talking to the proprietor, was an old and familiar figure in the mining towns of the West, Gunpowder Joe. Yes, sir, I says this fella, you come to the right man. Gunpowder Joe's my name. I says stumps, rocks, and ground moved all of a sudden. Of course, mine had done on contract. Been doing business for over 40 years. Joe, of course, I've made an honest mistake now and then, but you know, that's one thing about my business. <laughs> if a customer's at the right place at the wrong time, well, he ain't likely to be around later to do any complaining. Now, Joe, uh, let's go. I ain't saying now that uh, I'm as careful as I used to be. Oh, go on your hide, gunpowder. Will you let me take your order? Two cases of canned tomatoes and 10 plugs of chewing tobacco and a bag of oats for Clarabelle. That's my burrow, you know. Mm. Tomatoes, tobacco, oats. Is that all? No. Howdy, Injun. Got a lot more, but if I was telling you now, you'd be likely to forget it. I, I got a special job, contract job, too. What's your name, son? I'll be likely to be away from Vittles for quite some time, but this is a very secret job, very special. What's your name, son? What's your name? Hunter. Mm -hmm. uh, Sam, must tell you about the new fuse I invented. It, it gives me a, a, a much different boom. Well, it's, it's more like a bang. It, it's for small explosions, but same powder. Same powder, same fine grain powder you buy anywhere. Uh, Tonto, huh? You have a big job. Yeah, I need a helper. Sam, uh, do you know a likely boy would like to go to work for me? Uh, it's uh, good wages, good pay, short life. Uh, <laughs> I mean, uh, short hours. Shucks. Handling gunpowder is safer than holding a baby. Yes, sir. Explosions is a profession with a bang-up future. I mean... <laughs> Did you hear that, Sam? Bang up future. Wait till I tell that to Clarabelle. <laughs> hey, tell me, how is that on the old burrow anyhow? Wouldn't part with her for a million dollars. But burrow, not talk. Well, of course not. But she don't argue back none either. Say, how'd you like to go to work for me? Me not know. Well, pay you well, and I'll feed you well. What is your name? Tonto. Well, it doesn't matter anyway. You're a fine-looking feller. You're husky, and you're honest, and you're serious. I'll bet you'd be a good listener. You know that burrow, Clarabelle, <laughs> she's got the secret of listening. I'll have to tell you about it sometime. Uh, Sam, put on a slab of bacon and, and a bag of salt. Uh, well, now, Tom, me name Tonto. Tonto, huh? Tom. Fellow hired me named Tom. He's all business. Gets right down to the point. Let him keep talking at you for a few minutes. He'll give me a chance to fill his order. Now, I'm uh, going to be around town for a set out. I'm staying down at the Silver City Hotel. Got the best room in the house. Number one room, ground floor. <laughs> sort of living in style. That reminds me, Sam. Huh? Add on a 10-cent cigar. Well, how'd you like to go to work for me, son? It's a coming, Joe. It's a coming. Just keep asking in his name a few more times, and I'll have it. By the way, son, what is your name? A short time later, Tonto rode out of Silver City with supplies and news for the Lone Ranger. What did you learn, Tonto? Sheriff not no outlaws of old Cavendish gang out of prison. And he hasn't had time to know that they're wanted for robbery since. Him say him need description of Casley and Duke. Them maybe look different now. Yes, Tyler, that's probably true. 
The descriptions we got from the people who were robbed could fit almost anyone. But me stop in general store, meet explosion man who say him have secret job from men named Tom and Duke. Tom and Duke? They must be the men we're trailing. The gold they're after is buried under rock. They'll have to use dynamite to get it. Was the explosives man named Gunpowder Joe? And that's his name. You know him, Kim <laughs> Yes, now do I know him well. Gunpowder is as honest as the day is long. I'm sure he doesn't know he's been hired by the rest of the Cavendish gang. Did he say anything else? Uh, him talk much, say little. Uh, him offered me a job. He did? Uh. Tano, I want you to go back to town. Find Gunpowder and see if he still wants to hire you. If he does, tell him you must know more about the job. Ah, uh, me do that. Do you know where to find him? Him say him stop at Silver City Hotel. Have number one room on first floor. Good. If Cassidy is the man who hired Gunpowder, the old man may not finish the job alive. Sometime later in the cafe in Silver City, Tom Cassley was having a cup of coffee. I saw an Indian bringing Shorty's body over this morning. Oh, relax, Duke. Probably nobody around here would remember Shorty after 15 years. They wouldn't remember us either. Well, I saw the Indian warden. The Indian? Why? This redskin's named Tano, pal of the Lone Ranger. The Lone Ranger? Yeah. I'll never forget those two after the way they rounded us up years ago. They must have been trailing us. What do we do now? We'll get that gold and beat it. What about the old powderman? You said we weren't leaving until tomorrow. We've changed our minds. Come on. This might make things a little easier, Duke. Now, here's my plan. Sorry, me make mistake. Oh, you did, huh? Didn't quite catch your name. Me Tonto, me go now. Oh, Tonto, you're the one off the job. Well, come on in, come on in. You gunpowder, Joe? Well, sure am. Shut the door. Come in, have a sandwich. You maybe getting ready to die? <laughs> Don't be ridiculous, Tom. I'm just doing a little bit of city-style living, that's all. You want that job or don't you? Uh, me want to find out more about it. Well, nothing to it. You just do as I tell you, and you ain't likely to get killed. I explain, I remember that other fellow I had. Hard worker, anxious to learn. He tried to find out all there was about black powder in one day. You gotta be patient, Tom. You just gotta be patient. Go on, have a sandwich. Get him up, Indian. Higher. Get his gun, Duke. Get that knife, too. Great day in the morning. What's going on here? Shut up, gunpowder. Have you got that powder infused around here? Well, sure, Well, but... then get it. We're starting right now. You mean today? Oh, I can't be ready. He means now. I'm sorry, boys. I'm not good. I don't know as I caught into that way of doing business. What's this Indian doing here? Well, I needed a helper and offered him the job. I told him to come up here if he's interested. Well, he's interested, all right, but not the way you think. Well, I don't follow you. Well, I haven't got time to explain. Get a rope and tie this Indian's hands. Then bring his horse and gunpowder to go around back. Right. We're getting out the back way. One false move out of you two, and you'll never live to make another one. After waiting a long time for Tonto to return, the Lone Ranger headed for the Silver City Hotel. He took a back way to avoid questions about his mask, and arriving at Gunpowder's room, saw evidence of a hasty departure. Concerned for the safety of Tonto and Gunpowder, the masked man hurried to the sheriff's office. There, he explained the circumstances of the sudden disappearance of his friends. I believe that Duke and Casley became worried, changed their plans, and decided to leave immediately. Do you think they forced Tonto and Gunpowder to go with them? I'm sure of it. Tonto left a secret mark on the windowsill of Gunpowder's room, a mark that meant he'd been forced to leave by that window. Those Cavendish hombres are plenty tough. I better form a posse. They've already had a head start. I'll pick up their trail and follow them. Well, that's up to you. And I'll leave a trail for you and the posse to follow. We'll be along as soon as possible. Right. After a grueling climb high up in the mountain ranges beyond Silver City, the two outlaws and their captives at last reached the end of their journey. What are you aiming to blast? A long time ago, me and my pal stashed away $150,000 in gold in one of the tunnels of that mine. And we sealed off the tunnel by blasting it. And you want me to blast it open so you can get your money? There ain't nothing to it. 
We'd do it ourselves, only we didn't want to risk caving in a tunnel. I don't like the idea of it. I ain't going to do it. There ain't nothing you can do about it. I learned something about you fellas on the way up here from that engine. Do you know who that engine is? He's a feller that travels with the Lone Ranger. We know all about that gunpowder. Yeah, but did you know the Lone Ranger's going to be a missing him and he's going to come hunting? That's why we left in a hurry. If the Lone Ranger shows up, we'll be ready for him. Are you going to start work or do I have to use this? While Gunpowder and Tonto prepared the blast, the Lone Ranger was following the trail left by the outlaws and their captives. The ground was often hard and rocky, and it required an experienced eye to note the telltale signs. Who's that? Who'd you think it was? Well, I don't know. This joint's giving me the creeps. I'll be glad we're out of here and gone. I thought I told you to stay outside and watch for that masked man. They got a hanker for look at that gold. You'll see it soon enough. They're not going to get away telling us, are they? You leave that to me. The blast will take care. And Duke, yeah. next time you come in here, call out your name, understand, or I'll let you have this. Sure, sure, Tom. I'll yell when I come in. Yeah. Never thought we'd get you, pal, did you, Indian? You not killed Kimasabi. Oh, no? Go out and make sure of him, Duke. Give him another shot just for luck. That's what I'm aiming to do. Get back to work, you two. Come on. I've always wanted to bushwhack you, mister. I got my wish. Here goes. Right now. Right. <laughs> Right there on the end. All right. Get back against that wall. Both of you. What? You heard me, Gunpowder. What are you going to do? Man, you're covered. Where's Duke? You'll find him outside, bound and gagged. I don't know how you did it. Plenty smart, but not smart enough. Now the three of you back up against that wall. Quick! You mean you're gonna light that fuse? That's right. The blast that uncovers the gold will cover the three of you. You won't get away with it, Chasley. The sheriff's posse's on its way from Silver City. I'll be out of here and gone in a couple of more minutes. Stay here and let burn close to the powder. I'm going to step around there where I'll be perfectly safe. The first one of you moves gets a chest full of lead. Don't be a fool, Casley. Put that gun away. That kind of talk will do you no good, man. man. I'm going to get what's coming to me. You're going to get what's coming to you, but it ain't what you expect. Mr. Hmm. Been 
tried to tell the folks around here about that new fuse I invented, but they wouldn't none of them listen. I guess you two fellas get the idea, I reckon. Now listen here, Clarabelle. I don't know if that fancy fuse of mine had worked if this other feller Duke had been there. Couldn't fight the both of them. And if it wasn't for that Indian, uh, what's his name, and a Lone Ranger, I wouldn't be alive to tell you about it. It's all here, $150,000 worth. That'd sure buy a lot of that there new fancy blast and stuff I've been wanting to get. I think they call it dynamite. Perhaps you'll be able to get some gunpowder. The sheriff tells me there's probably a reward for the recovery of all this money. A reward? Say now, you never thought of that, did you, Clarabelle? You must be getting old. You not talk to a girl like that. She not like that talk. Clarabelle? Now, Tom, I told you she was one of the best listeners I ever seen. You won't say she have secret that make her listen good. Oh, she sure has. <laughs> Most people think I talk too much, but not her. You know why? I mean, not know. Simplest thing in the world. Clarabelle's been around blasting so long, she's just stone deep. Goodbye, Sheriff. Goodbye, Gunpowder. So long, mister. So long, Tom. Hey, ain't you gonna stick around for your share of the reward? Not them, Gunpowder. They never do. They're satisfied to help round up the last of the Cavendish gang. Come to think of it, you're right. Safe. Do you know who them fellers are? I'll tell you. They're the smartest fellers fighting for law and order in the West. Tonto and the Lone Rangers.